Welcome to UHC Season 7. This is a very, very special UHC. This is one that I actually have a chance of winning. I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is, but we'll find out. The premise in this one is everyone against me. There are two teams. I am on Team 2. Everyone else is on Team 1. There's about 30 people who are going to try to murder me. This is nice. Like a nice semicircle forming around me. This is great. Um, okay, so the usual UHC rules apply. Nothing changed there. Um, here are some facts that everyone should be aware of. Everyone will start together, but you are all allowed to like separate into smaller groups or even be by yourself if you want. Um, I would love it if you all separated and and just, you know, just ran off by yourself. It makes you uh, easy targets. So that'd be great. Be prepared for the worst. Um, you guys don't know the powers that I will have. I promise you it's not like super ridiculous. It's not. I don't have very, uh, very many offensive powers. Um, it's really just like some special powers that I have that you guys will absolutely love. And I, I love them already. Well, I, I love most of them. I, apparently, there are a few that I don't know about just yet. So we'll see. 30-minute um, grace period. So no PvP. Friendly fire is off. So you guys can't even hurt each other. How cool is that? And the world size is 1,500 by 1,500. It shrinks after 40 minutes. It starts shrinking after 40 minutes, eventually down to 100 by 100. And it's permanent day after 100 minutes. I am ready to go. Hopefully, you guys are all ready to go. Good luck to everyone. And maybe maybe I can win one. This is going to be great. Well, here we go, one, and it's raining, sweet, well then, uh, off we go, I think I'm just gonna run into this direction, right over here, it, uh, it's, it's a thunder, it is a thunderstorm, mm, 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 mm. perfect, there is a crafting table over there, I think that's a little problematic, uh, that might be from previous attempts, uh, we, <laughs> We kind of restarted it a few times. As you saw, we had some issues. And I think somebody put some things there. We'll just ignore that. And let's just get some distance. So we can make sure we actually have caves ourselves. In the break, by the way, I joined some people in voice. I chat with them. Might rejoin them later on when we're about to go into the fighting. So, in case you didn't uh, fully pay attention to all the madness that was going on, the premise of this UHC is that we are all fighting Beef. Beef will have uh, superpowers. Um, he'll be super strong, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. And yeah, we'll all have to team up, try to fight him. We'll see how strong he will be and if we need like big, big group efforts. Um, see what's going on there. Ah, oh, they've, they've got rid of the rain. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's get ourselves Pickaxe. And we get the first three. We got a final heal. That's nice as well. Good. Let's get another one. Oh, it's all the way back there. And there. Good. Make ourselves a stone axe, please. It's not in here. Oh. Aha! Stone axe. Thank you very much. Let's get things in the right position. There's number one and number three. Let's kill ourselves some cows, shall we? Is this connected? Kind of thought this would be decaying while we're here. Maybe we get ourselves a apple already. <laughs> Sweet. Some nice damage. Some nice steak. Got one leather already, so we can possibly go and enchant. Enchanting will be weird. We might, because we're all in one team, have a enchanting system set up somewhere. Uh, so people can save up on their diamonds or whatever. Um, so yeah, if we would be a more coordinated group, it might be weird. Okay, people are here. I, I think we'll still have to move a little further. Uh, we do have our first tools though. We have some food. We have some leather. I think that's a good start. Let's get some distance again. Uh, we're still really close to the start. See when we find ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna take this food. Thank you very much. 
It's probably enough food already for me. No, no. Cool. Oh, there's a creeper. <gasps> so I'm I'm kind of playing with the ideas because we are so many people. Uh, I'm wondering about how serious I should take all of this. Whoop. Aw, oh, lag made him explode. And I thought maybe I'll just try to create as much chaos as I can in the end fight with TNT and a bunch of lava and stuff like that. So we are um, all in one team and friendly fire is turned off. Uh, I'm not sure if that was mentioned. So I cannot uh, hit our teammates. However, I'm pretty sure with explosions and stuff like that, I still could. So I gotta be careful with that. Uh, I took only three of them because that's all I need for my uh, bookcase. Uh, for my enchanting table. There's so many people here. <gasps> Those are my chickens. Heh. <laughs> okay. Some more fa <gasps> Doggies. Don't have any bones on me, so I can't tame them yet. And sadly, I cannot tame the wolves with meat. Otherwise, I totally would. We'll start off with an amazing wolf army right at the start. That's not going to happen. All right. Um, flower forest. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Where are we in the world, by the way? Uh, about at a thousand, a thousand. Oh no, team courts? Well, that, that will get spammed so much, probably. <laughs> Just ignore that. Alright. Still flower forest. Let's head... Mm, probably around 800, 800 is where we can go caving. See if we find anything interesting on the way. Definitely have to chop down some more uh, trees. I have to start eating things. Just eat some raw chicken. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, what else? Um, 1.14 is the version that we're playing on, 1.14.4. However, phantoms are disabled as far as I know, which is a bit of a weird choice. I usually think phantoms add a fun um, element to the whole thing, and especially we have such a big team. We could have like, I don't know, 100 phantoms <laughs> at the end fight, and that would be hilarious. Uh, but we won't be seeing that. Sadly, because people don't like phantoms. Maybe there are some other things around, um, some other plugins or whatever that uh, create problems with that. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what they're planning with Beef's powers, so I don't know what all is there to uh, think about. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think that's enough sorting. I'll see this big drop over here. Uh, I'm not sure if this connects to a cave. Ooh, lots of Lots of sugar cane. Okay, let's take enough for three books, because that's the amount of letter that we have. So we can enchant twice. And I think... Um, this is where we go... Wow, look at the health! Cat is at half a heart! What did you do, cat? Oh, boy. Yeah, so, uh, this is where I'll dig down. I'll quickly get rid of these trees, so I can start decaying. I tend to go into caves with too uh, few logs, uh, I've noticed. Because I tend to just explore in the first episode, like in the beginning of the UHC. So I gotta make sure that that's not the case this time. You know, I see these cows around, there's still some sugar cane. Maybe get just one more book. One more leather. Uh, uh, one more leather, please. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Let's get three more sugar cane. I'm gonna start digging down. How much? Meh. We need some more logs still. Yeah, let's take one more tree. Ooh! There's my chickens! I would have totally missed. Sweet. Yeah! Got him! That one, that one, and that. Cool. Well then, 
Let's start digging down, uh, I'll guess, one apple. Nice. We'll just take this bit. Go down here. That's the first apple, actually, that I picked up. And I thought we'll get a few more. Alright. Ooh, I hear lava. I mean, we could take the ravine, actually. That bit of the ravine that we saw. I think there was coal in there. That kind of like... Ooh, there's iron here. I'm not quite sure if you can see that. Um, with things being as dark as... Ooh, I found coal, too! Alright. You got creepy cave noises. I am ready for this place. I think. I'll put that thing in here. Um, get some food going. A bit of coal. Put that in here. Let's see if we got some more apples laying around as it's getting nighttime. Nothing. Honestly, I would prefer a cave to just run in. I didn't see one. Nope, only one apple. Well, let's hope we find ourselves some good old mineshaft or something like that. Some good old dungeons! Did I not see chickens? I hear you. There you are. No, I'm not crazy. Got 16 feathers. Oh, devastation got shot by a skeleton. That might be the first death. Ripperinos. Yeah. I hear this lava. Is that around anywhere? So close, maybe. Maybe a cave around that I should, should or could just go in. Let's have a look up here. That looks kind of like a cave, actually. And nope, that's just weird terrain. All right, game, I'll take it. I'll go back to my hole. <laughs> Guess we're going down there. I'm so slow. Last scan for apples. Nothing. Alright then. We're going in. I do hear the lava. So. Might be able to get something there. Make ourselves a few torches. And we can. I don't know. Okay, I guess. I hear footsteps. Footsteps are probably a creeper since I didn't hear any mob noises. I mean, now I hear things. Definitely stuff around. Uh, let's make a second furnace so we can get stuff going. Put that one up there. Alright. Oh, imagine we would have like team inventory or stuff like that in here. That would be nuts. First eight iron pieces. Those will go into there. Yeah, a piece of coal. There's a slide. Alright, well, definitely caves around. Which is nice. I do want to have my shield up before we go down into there. That slime actually might be on top. We are in a um, swamp biome and they can spawn just on the surface. In this biome during nighttime, depending on the moon phase. Alright, let's say that's enough coal for now. That's that down there. Uh, what we got in here? Cisco stew? Oh no! I was looking forward to maybe fight alongside that guy, but nope. Cisco's out. Oh, hey, that's the cave. Looks like I uh, chose to dig down in a good spot. That's definitely a creeper that I heard. Hey, my man. Oh, that's, oh, that's wrong. That off. Let's get ourselves our shield before we do anything else here. 
Um, shield. Shield. Saw it there. Good. And I'd say... Boots. We have enough for either a pick or a bucket, I guess. We'll start off with a pick. We can mine things faster. And let's relocate further down into the caves. I'll keep that here for now. Goes here. Eat a steak, some prime vintage beef. Let's see what we can do. Okay, creeper will be on the other side of this. Could be blocked off now. Nope, there he is. Never mind. I just blocked me in, didn't I? Yep. I placed a block on this torch, so I placed it behind me. Oop. Hmm. Boop. Boop. Hi. Come on. Hit him. There you go. I should probably shield when I do that. Alright. Get some now. Make some more torches. And let's get cave in here. It's actually some iron. That's nice. Okay. Some mushrooms, some more iron. This goes around in a loop. Hello. Got him. Does this continue by any chance? Nope. Alright. Let's take the iron on our way back and then let's explore the other side of the cave. We'll obviously pick up all the iron in the beginning. While we still need it. And we'll get less and less later on. I wonder where that lava is, though. Lava bucket is a very nice tool. Very handy. As you probably know by now, I, I really enjoy using fire and lava in UHCs for fighting. It um helps with having a bad aim. <laughs> if you can just uh, light the feet of your opponents on fire. Oh, hello. Well, that's lava that I heard. Kind of thought it would be like a lava pool. But this is fine too. Let's make all this fall. I don't trust it. Okay. Oh, mind this. We should probably place these things down. Half in there. Half in there. Uh, again, half in here, half in here. I think we now put eight in each. What's the good call of that? There's a lot of iron still, though. I feel like before we head deeper into the caves, we'll actually have full iron gear here. Still here, the uh, the slime, the squishy. Alright. Five more iron. Gravel with the gravel. See, that's a good trap. <laughs> it's a very good trap game. This just loops around. Oh, uh, let's do that. Yeah, we could have been buried below that. I think I'm out of coal now. Once I start smelting this. Oh, stuff is down there. Seem to be several slime around by now. Again, let's put this stuff in too. Let's pick up some coal. Um, let's just get rid of this. We'll get some lava later on. Oh, hey. <laughs> wow, really? Exactly why I stopped mining out the coal deposit is where I would have found the cave. Interesting. Oh, oh I'll take it. Here. So let's see, we need 8 for this, 7 for this, 5 for this. It's like 20. Um, yeah, I think we have enough iron for that. Sweet. 18 cold shall be enough for now. Oops. 
Was that somebody dying or was that just weather again? I have the feeling that's just weather again. That. 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 That sure is weather. Alright then. Goodbye. I guess we won't hear this anymore. Take this. I feel fairly confident now in our gear. One bucket. Um, let's just make another pick right away, I think. For that. Alright. Kind of sad that we only got one apple out of all of this. Alright then. Let's set further down. There's nothing over here. So here's stuff over here, and I think one of the uh, slimes were over here. Stick into here. <laughs> Found the fossil. Nice. That was actually fairly rare. I don't think I've ever seen a fossil in an EHC, actually. Where you at? Slimy boy. Might be on the surface, actually. Seems fairly far away. Okay, where are these zombies that we heard? Are they still around? Zombies? Oh, there's also water running. Oh, well, that's the end of the episode one, and I'll catch you in the next one.